in August of last year when I knew this is what I'm supposed to do. And uh, I was with a U.S. delegation to South Sudan and through a series of meetings and so forth, I finally, it's like uh, in that scenario, the veil fell and my eyes were opened that the way we knew, have known the government lies to American citizens. We've known that we've been lied to on issue after issue after issue, whether it's COVID or the origin or the vaccine or who killed JFK or this or that. I mean, everything for a long time, you know, weapons of mass destruction, we keep getting lied to repeatedly. But I didn't realize that that extended beyond our borders. And when I realized fully that we do the same thing to other nations and other countries, and yet we say we're for peace, but we create war. We're negotiating with other governments, and we've got a machete chopping off their legs underneath the table, and because they don't have the finesse of maybe some of our American diplomats, they turn around and slap us, and then because that's visible, we act like we're the victims. And we're saying, I can't believe you just said that or did that. We're going to sanction you. Well, you've been cutting my legs off, but nobody saw that. Well, I saw that, and I said, no wonder we are, uh, countries want to go to war, and there are alliances forming, and BRICS is gaining momentum, and they're trying to take down the American dominance because of how we have abused our influence uh, in many respects. So when I saw the corruption, that we were actually more corrupt, we were better at being corrupt than some of the corrupt nations we were trying to sanction for being corrupt. And so I wanted to run for president so that I could, to, to have God's blessing on this nation once again, first of all, and secondly, to do right by American citizens and to do right by other nations and the peoples of other nations. See, I don't view China as our enemy, or Russia is not our The Chinese people are not our enemy. The Russian people are not our enemy. These are people. These are human beings. Uh, it is ideology and uh, that is a problem and that we are at war with of some of the regimes in these countries. 